Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code weekly contest 334. Uh, it's a medium level problem and yeah, a relatively better one. You can see that with the accuracy as well. Uh, so the total submissions are this much. The accepted ones are, I would say just one fifth of that. So, but yeah, let's see what the problem is trying to say. So the problem name is find the divisibility array of a string. So you are given a zero indexed string word of length n consisting of digits and a positive integer m okay the divisibility array div of word is an integer array of length n such that divisibility of i equals to 1 if the numerical value of word 0 to i is divisible by m or divisibility of i is 0 otherwise return the divisibility array of word okay so what the problem is saying you you are given a string okay you are given a string like in this case it's nine nine eight two four four three five three so you have to return an array of this size only okay one two three four five six seven eight nine return an array of size nine where what are the values in this array the value will be one so for a particular index i like for this index okay what is the prefix that is being formed till this index so zero to i so here this is the first character so the string being formed is 9 so is 9 divisible by m m here in this in this case is 3 if it is divisible put 1 here else put 0 okay what about index number 1 so what is the prefix array it's 99 so is 99 divided by divisible by 3 yes put 1 again then come to this index what is the string it is 998 is that divisible by 3 no it is not put 0 here okay then you come here what's the string 9982 is it divisible by 3 no it is not put 0 here then you come here is it so is 99824 divisible by 3 so it is not so this is also 0 then you come here okay the string formed is divisible by 3 so hence which string it's 998244 okay it is divisible then again you do that for all the positions and this is how you return fi this final array okay so this is what the problem is asking us to do now if i let me just erase it for clarity okay so this is what the problem is trying to say so now comes the question how do we calculate uh, so the first thing to notice here is the length of the string can go to 10 raised to the power 5 okay so that means a brute force approach where you keep on calculating the prefix will not work why because suppose you have a 10 digit number or 11 digit number so that won't fit into integer data type and once you go beyond uh, 18 19 digits so that won't even fit into a long data type okay so what is the trick here so the trick here is suppose Suppose I write something like this a equals to b into m plus remainder. What does this mean? This means that suppose um, I have a number which is represented like this b times n m plus remainder. Okay, this is what I have. Okay, so in short, if for a particular position, if for, for a particular prefix, my remainder is zero, that means that number is divisible by the given m, right? Here m is the given m. Okay. Now, what what I'll do? Suppose I've calculated the result till index i. Now I move to index i plus one. So what I'll do? What I'll do? I'll multiply whatever number I've calculated till here. Actually, if I want to form that number, it will be into ten plus the current digit that is being added, right? In short, suppose nine nine three is my number. Now the next digit is four. So what I'll do? I'll do nine nine three into ten plus four this is how i form my number so we'll do the same thing in equation so that we do not incur overflow okay so what i'll do for ith position i've calculated now i will calculate for i plus one position so the first is multiply by 10 and add the current digit okay so if you do this what will happen okay if you do 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 this what will happen so a on lhs and rhs so it will become a into 10 plus curl digit equals to b into m okay b into m into 10 plus remainder into 10 plus current digit now just see just see the beauty we want to calculate the remainder for this new number being formed this this new number being formed so this is what we want to calculate it now this guy is divisible by m 
right because b into m into 10 so this is gone remainder is 0 now comes this part remainder into 10 plus current digit so that means to to find the remainder for i plus 1th position all i need is remainder for the ith position okay i will multiply it by 10 and i'll add the current digit i'll, I'll again find the remainder okay again if the current remainder is 0 uh, then what i'll do i'll i'll uh, put 1 at that particular position else i'll put 0 okay so in short what we mean to say you do not actually need to form the uh, prefix number rather you are just dependent on the remainder that you have seen till now okay so based on that we can calculate our answer so this was the trick um, and i think there is one more reason why there are so many wrong answers the, that reason is the the value of m here is 10 raised to power 9 so what happens when you calculate the remainder that can go into a range of 10 raised to power 9 only right uh, to be precise it can go from 10, uh, 2 the max value is 10 raised to power 9 minus 1 now as soon as you multiply it by 10 this guy goes beyond integer data type so here what to here the data type of remainder needs to be long that's the other trick okay so uh, that's the logic now if i come to the code you can see it's a very short code you calculate how many characters you have and then you construct the answer array you initialize your answer remainder with zero right because obviously we do not have any digits till now so the remainder will be zero and then what do you do uh, you calculate you traverse it so just see the formula what i have done remainder equals to remainder into 10 plus the current digit okay find what is the current remainder now remainder mod equals to m if the remainder is 0 answer of i is 1 else obviously by default it is 0 whenever i construct the error right and finally you return your answer right so this is how you solve this problem uh, the beauty of this problem was you have to deal with the expansion part um, so yeah based on that we can solve this problem i hope you learned something new from this video uh, do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well it helps me keep motivated also in case of any queries mention that into the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye